Hi, I'm Christy Street and I'm going to be talking with University of Newcastle graduate Ben Kenning about creative industry careers. So let's get started. Thanks for coming in, Ben. So tell me, you, you are an artist. What kind of art is it that you do? Um, I'm primarily a painter and mixed media artist, uh, working on canvas and paper uh, with some performance art and live installation type work. I think instinctively I've always been drawn to painting, just being able to uh, express myself uh, through the nature of, of paint and, uh, and the brush, uh, mark making, and uh, also being able to explore ideas through those mediums, create a language of my own, and um, you know, seek to translate that onto canvas or paper. Yeah. yeah. So did you always want to be an artist? For the HSC, uh, I, I sort of uh, majored in uh, fine art. Uh, probably it wasn't until my early 20s that I decided that I wanted to go and study uh, visual art. Yeah. So before that, when you, when you first left school, what is it that you did? I uh, looked for work was the first thing that I did. Uh, I worked with a geotech environmental firm for a little while uh, and then I uh, got a job with uh, the railways, an office traineeship. I uh, worked there for three to four years. Uh, after that, I, I went to study art. Right. So what was the first steps that you took, you know, to get yeah. into art? Uh, I, I guess just having a curiosity in, in art uh, and expressing myself somehow. It was a cathartic thing for me. So uh, while I was working with the railways, I was uh, painting and drawing at home. Uh, I kept doing that um, and eventually I decided I wanted to go and learn more. Great. Now you graduated with the Bachelor of Fine Art in 2011. How was your experience of being at university? Uni was great. Um, it, it offered uh, a lot of opportunities uh, over that time. Uh, time to, uh, opportunities to uh, meet staff, uh, teachers, people who have experience uh, in the industry and, um, and to spend time with other students and learn from them as well. Now, why, why did you decide to do honours? Probably went through roughly a three year period where uh, my practice had sort of, my visual arts practice and my painting uh, had sort of gone backwards in a sense. Uh, coming back to uni and doing my honours was a way to sort of get the ball rolling for myself again, um, to get back into my practice and to focus on, on that side of things and uh, also the opportunities that were available, um, scholarships, grants and, and things like that. You did have quite mm. a big opportunity or a, a prize that you got during honours. Can, mm. can you explain that to us? I applied for the uh, Jenny Thomas Travelling Art Scholarship. Uh, which I received along with another person, Ryan Fitzgerald. Uh, that was for, I think, $2,000 to $2,500 to, to travel, um, to, you know, widen my experience uh, and, and, you know, see if I could relate that back to my art somehow. Uh, around the same time, uh, I won a uh, emerging art prize at Cooks Hill Gallery in Newcastle. Uh, so I bundled that money together and uh, went to uh, Mumbai, India for two months uh, to make art. That's fantastic. What fun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and um, so did all this then lead to paid work? In a sense, uh, I make money selling art. I, I do often sell a lot of my work. Uh, and luckily, the value of my works has been steadily increasing. It's not a steady income by any means, um, but it is nice to get something back for the investment, you know, that I have put into it um, time-wise and, you know, financially sort of speaking as well. Can you explain to me what it is you do have in place to make that okay? Well, I work part-time at Newcastle Art Gallery, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, I need some money to support myself, um, obviously to eat and pay bills and pay yeah. the rent. All right. Well, here are a few other experiences of current creative industry students. And I'm majoring in painting. My major is in 2D, which is drawing and painting and my major is fibres and textiles. Fine art, art history and gender studies. It's fibres and textiles. I'm from Pius until year 10, then I went to 
Francis Xavier. I went to Katara High School. Um, I'm originally from Adelaide. I'm from Apopka, Florida in the United States and I went to Apopka High School. I'm from Chatham High, but that's a really long time ago. I think what I'm enjoying most is the community atmosphere and how everybody is, feels so together and supportive of your education experience. I enjoy it. It's, it's really hard. It, it's not a bludge. Everyone thinks doing arts or fine arts is a bludge, but it's not. For me to have looked at quite a few different approaches to drawing and painting in the last couple of years and now really being able to find what it is that I want to do. I'm enjoying having an encouraging environment to work in and to explore art making and creating and to learn new processes. I love the process of making and learning new techniques and approaches to making art, but I also love being in a community of artists and developing a network of, um, with those people. You can do the lectures and things like that online. It makes it, this technological age makes things quite easy. It's been fantastic. All the lecturers are really encouraging. They're wanting to um, help you in any way possible, teach you something new if you need. It makes me get better at doing what I love. So how do you prepare for an exhibition? Uh, I generally give myself a certain amount of time, six months to a year. Uh, Sometimes exhibitions will, will come around more frequently, other times I'll, I'll spend more time developing a body of work. Uh, I do work out of a studio. I've, I've moved quite regularly, uh, probably the last five or six years. Uh, so my studio space could, could range from a, a two square metre space in my lounge room. Presently I'm, I'm working out of a, sp a studio space at home, which is uh, just in my backyard. Uh, luckily enough, um, it's a great space. In, in the past, uh, I've uh, held my own solo exhibitions, uh, exhibited in group shows and competitions and prizes. Uh, so that all you know, uh, sort of adds to gaining wider exposure, yeah. uh, larger audiences uh, to see the work. And I've had a, quite a few different opportunities have uh, sort of emerged from that. Uh, currently, I'm represented by a gallery in Newcastle. Uh, so they have exclusivity or exclusive rights to my work. Um, so any new work that I create, I let the, uh, the gallery director know. And uh, he is essentially responsible for uh, searching for sales for me. But you mentioned some other forms of art. Could you maybe explain a little bit more about those? Yeah, for sure. Um, I guess within the last few years, I've sort of uh, expanded, uh, you know, the sort of boundaries of my arts practice from working on canvas and paper and just singular two-dimensional surfaces to uh, more immersive environments uh, where I might paint on walls and the floor or uh, pin canvas up to make much larger surfaces to work on. Um, uh, these works are, are responsive and they're site specific so they're in particular places. Uh, the last work that I did like this was at the Lockup uh, Gallery in Newcastle. Um, uh, it was a two and a half hour performance uh, piece uh, where I responded to uh, other art artworks which were being created as part of a larger event called uh, Art Bender. Great. Obviously things are going quite well. Are you, are you mm. pleased with where it's all at at the moment? It's been a bit of a roller coaster ride, uh, to be honest, um, but I am happy at the moment. I think uh, initially I was quite gung-ho with my attitude and approach towards exhibiting my work and trying to establish myself as an artist. I've definitely sort of slowed down a little bit. And what about your parents? Do they understand your career choice? Do they understand what you do? They do now. Yeah, yeah uh, I think uh, my, my mother, she sort of, uh, she's been a driving force but behind that sort of creativity from very early ages. And my dad, initially he was the complete opposite. Um, but over time, I think uh, I've managed to educate him a little bit on these <laughs> things and he's become more supportive. And obviously as time has passed and, uh, you know, I've, I've had some success along the way. He's sort of become more accepting of this and he sees how hard I work doing this as well. So, um, you know, if I'm applying myself, I, I think, you know, towards something, it shouldn't matter what it is that I'm doing. Some of our creative industry students have come up with an app to help them manage their studies. 
Are you struggling to juggle uni, work and a social life? Are you having a hard time getting to all your classes on time? Are you struggling to get out of bed before 10am in the morning? Well then we have the app for you. The Clone Me app is a revolutionary product for students. It creates a perfect copy of your physical body and provides a powerful graphic interface for your mind to travel between the two. Wait, so you can't be in both bodies at once? Oh, well, that's alright. I can work with that. Say you want to have a sleep in, but you have a class in 10 minutes. Send a clone and you can keep on sleeping. Now imagine you have a class on at the same time. You can do both at once. The amazing cleanup can also be used to avoid annoying family members or a boring movie day. Multiple clones are available via in-app purchases. Download Clone Me now and never worry about missing anything again. So Ben, what does the future hold for you? What are your aspirations? Uh, presently, uh, really just to keep developing uh, my art and my visual arts practice. So what about uh, for young people who are at school and thinking that they might take this path, yeah. what advice would you give to them? If you're passionate about something uh, and you have a curiosity, to, curiosity about something, um, you should follow that um, because uh, really that's going to take you to places you know, that, that you want to go with, you know, uh, things that you're interested in and it will keep you interested and you will learn more. Uh, and the more you do this, you know, the, the more things will grow and expand and opportunities will uh, occur for you. Yeah, great. Thank you so much, Ben, for coming in today. It's been lovely chatting with you. Yeah, likewise. Okay. And now this program has been made by television production students in the School of Creative Industries. And you've been watching See What You Could Be. Thank you.